is when bad news trends it is not time to make money it is not time to make mockery of odyssey <music> to build up healthy relationship with the social media if you're watching me for the very first time like i said my name is n moses and if you find this content very useful to you please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button i have five tips i'm going to give you on this video number one take note of whatever you post on the social media you see i tell people see whatever you're going to be posting on the social media see when you're standing for something you're standing for a name you're coming out for something you're contesting for an election you're doing something it has a way of popping it comes out for you so if you have not or you don't do the right things see know that it will speak for you someday so you must learn to share what is decent on the social media what is right what is sincere you must verify the truth before you post anything on the social media because it has a way of playing back to you number two support and connect to others support and connect to others because see you're in that place these are people from different angles of life from different from the forerunners of the world converging in a place you know on the social media so you must learn to connect well with others because that is the only way others can connect to you you must learn to talk well you must learn to connect with others decently number three reduce your screen you know your screen time on the social media the only way to to have a healthy relationship on the social media is to reduce your screen time in the sense that see you spend much time on the social media see it's not giving you time sometimes it does not give you time to attend to yourself it does not give you time to do the right thing it does not give you time to think well it does not give you time to read it does not give you see you sometimes people you just get hooked to a particular channel where they talk about gossip they talk about things you are contributing your contribution will really make no sense because in the sense that see um, you are just glued to that place. It's not helping you and it's not even helping the next person, especially when there is a discussion. It's when bad news trends, it is not time to make money. It is not time to make mockery of others. See, especially when something um, bad is happening or is trending on the social media, we have people that is when they want to stay glued with their comments. They want to comment to everybody's comment. They want to say something to whatever comment is coming in. See, you don't stay. If you really want to have a healthy relationship with the social media, you don't just stay too glued to the screen, to your screen times. Yes, you don't stay too glue. You don't respond to all comments. There are sometimes people send in comments. You just send a like to them or you say thank you. As short as it is, it goes a long way. It speaks volume. It is not every comment or it is not every say on the social media you must comment to or you must respond to. It is not everybody that wants to fight on the social media you should, you should be ready to fight. It is not every talk on the social media you should contribute to. Choose what you say on the social media, which is, of course, my number one. Know what you share. Choose what to say. Know what the people you connect to. The people you connect to on the social media, there should be decent people. There should be things that promote decency. There should be things that promote anything good in the environment. Yeah, number four, unfollow. What did I say? You must unfollow. You have to unfollow all the unhealthy accounts on social media. Remember our topic today or our title as the title says, how to maintain or how to have a healthy relationship with the social media. You must unfollow all the unhealthy accounts on social media. See, that leads to number three, which says, which says reduce your screen times and engagement. See, if you learn to unfollow all the media accounts that does not say good about others, I'm not saying you should not follow gossip because in gossip, you see gossip platforms, you see, you, you get to know about news. There are some things that have traces of them. Um, yes, the right source of them, um, the information there. I'm not asking you to stop. Sometimes it's for your consumption. Just listen and then just walk by because everybody is not everybody that is sliding through the corners of Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, um, Twitter and other platforms, the other social media platforms that um, are really um, there to do anything. They are watching. People are watching what you say, your contributions and all that. And the world is so around that whatever you do on Facebook, I mean, it's on Instagram, it's on, it's on Twitter and it's everywhere. Whatever you do on YouTube, it's everywhere. So 
you know, unfollow all the unhealthy accounts that you know they will not, they are not truthful, they will not help you, they will not help you grow on the social media, they will not help you grow outside, they will not help you grow in your job, they will not help you grow with your partner. These things don't promote what you want. These things don't speak well of the things you want. These things are not there. They are not just, they don't have anything to play. They don't have any positive um, role in your life. So you must learn to unfollow all the unhealthy accounts. It could be truthful. It could be, see, it could be those ones that post themselves as in they are truthful or, see, you must learn to unfollow them. The long and short of it is that you must learn to unfollow all the untruthful accounts unhealthy accounts accounts that chooses that 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 chooses to to bring other people's low you know you must learn to unfollow them stay very far from them i'm not saying you should block them but you must learn to stay out of them if possible block them so you don't go into them you don't send in your comment you don't say what you're not supposed to say you don't mix up words with people you're not supposed to mix up with this is social media like i said whatever you do see it has a way of playing back to you so you must learn to choose the good one and the real ones wisely number five which is my last point here take a break when you feel you are not functioning See, when you feel you're not functioning, even in a gathering. See, my friend once told me something of recent. She said um, she visited a place, um, not in Nigeria. She visited a place somewhere within uh, the nearby countries. And uh, she noticed she was not functioning well where she had her place of worship. She was not just doing well. She doesn't understand what is going on there. At any time she goes there, you know, she was not. She just noticed she was not. She was not herself. And I told her, see, that does not mean you are staying out of the presence of God. You now, I think it is time for you to go back to your shell and pray about what you're seeing. Maybe God is speaking a language to you. Maybe God is speaking, you have to mount the pulpit. Yes. Maybe God is speaking, you have to do something. Maybe you have to be the evangelist. Maybe there are some things you have seen that are not well done from your previous previous place of worship, which is a, you, she has always been in Nigeria and she just visited this place. It's a new environment uh, um, entirely and uh, absolutely they don't speak English. So you don't expect that you're going to understand everything they are doing, but you have to take your time. Maybe in a week just take out your time to pray about what you're doing what you're seeing your new place of worship actually you choose that place of worship and so you have to pray about it you have to pray to be able to to get well with people there and on your own you have to behave well you have to learn to behave well you have to learn to accept people you have to learn to smile because see i tell people you must learn to smile you must learn to be nice that is for another video so i told her see this place you are you must take a break if you feel it is not going well with you. So like I said, how to have a healthy relationship with the social media. If you know you are not functioning well in the social media, yes, you must take a break. You must take a break and connect with yourself, connect with your life, connect with your spirit, connect with your environment before you hit the road again, before you comment on anybody's comment, before you say anything on the social media. Don't forget we talked about five points here how to have a healthy relationship with the social media number one take note of what you share number two support and connect with others number three reduce your time on the social media number four unfollow all the unhealthy accounts number five take a break when you don't feel when you feel you're not functioning well on the social media and if you're watching me for the very first time like i said my name is n moses and if you find this content very useful to you please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button your sharing is very important your likes are very important and until i come again in my next video